What up, people? Uh, we back with another new workflow. Uh, this one is a banger, I think. A lot of people have asked for this. How do you generate a data set for LoRa training if you only have one image of your influencer or your character? How do you do that? Well, this video today is going to basically fix this problem for you. We just use one image and then we can generate, um, you know, images based on the likeness of our source and you don't need the LoRa to do this. So this is going to be the workflow. It's not that extensive, but it works pretty well. And I think, you know, the least nodes you use, uh, the better the workflow kind of is in general. So yeah, I'll just go over the workflow real quick and then uh, give uh, a little bit more details and do kind of a couple of tests. So here we have the load image. This is where you upload your image uh, for the face. As you can see, I will use this face here. For the checkpoint, we use FluxDev FP8, the country hard version. You can use Kijai, but you'll need to do a couple of uh, changes to the workflow to make it work. Here we have the T cache. This is to make the workflow generate faster. I highly recommend you use this but it's not necessary to make it work so if you have you know difficulty installing that you can just delete it and it's still gonna work uh, here we have the flux pull id model this is what's gonna do most of the heavy lifting with generating the face um and using the prompt at the same time um here we have a face segmentation that's just gonna take the face uh, mask it and send it back to the pull id node uh, this here is basically the resolution of your um, generation and the batch size is how many images do you want to generate at the same time. Um, here we have the prompt so you can just put whatever you want in there. Um, here I'm just gonna go with um, you know cosplaying as me too. Uh, and then I can just run that and it's basically going to generate um, the character Miku using this face here upscale it two times here and these are the results we get so as you can see the likeness is pretty good um, you can easily use that to train the Laura obviously you might not want to use another character as a cosplay when you uh, train the Laura so you go something like wearing um, an orange jacket and blue pants let's just say um, this is just for an example but this is how you would go about it in my opinion if you want to generate a data set um, just wait for the result here And yeah, so as you can see, likeness still pretty good. Um, they added some some weird hat, which is not a problem because you can just run it again, and you're gonna get two new images for your data set. That's that's the cool part about it. You can just run it until you're really done, uh, until you have enough images. Obviously, if you use AI images to train an AI model, um, you might get AI looking results, but there's no really, there's no way around that really. Um, the other best ways to use real images and sometimes it's not possible. So I think this is going to be your next best option. Uh, and yeah, this is the workflow. Um, if you have any questions about how to run this, um, you can just join the discord the workflow is going to be in the patreon you can just join for free like uh, like I think 600 other people did already um, and yeah if you have any questions whatsoever you can hit me up in the discord or in the comments and I'll try to answer your question um, I'll put all the models you might need in there and uh, that's what's up for the workflow the next one is going to be AI influencer stuff, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.